Usually you can tell if you're done with a, uh, a room if you see a monster drop a key, which is nobody here so far. Smash this guy. And there we go. This, this should be the last wave. So that means we're almost done. And how dare you hit me. And uh, pick up the HP potions that you see them, because it's really useful. Because you just don't want to end up at that spot where you just can't heal yourself at a certain point. And then we're going to raise Combat Mastery up and sword. That should be good enough for uh, Combat Mastery. Well, I will go up to B, possibly. Because you don't want to go up too far with that skill. Because then you'll get to the point where it makes uh, training on other stuff a lot harder. Just keep using Windmill here. Where's Windmill? There it is. Now I have to use Counter-Attack with Windmill, which is going to be pretty difficult to do. So, uh, what you should do is just go ahead and load up Lightning Bolt. And just go against a corner. That's that's really much how you do it. Okay, and let's... Sorry, guys. <laughs> just wait for the spider to knock you back like that. It's gonna take some time. Oh yeah, it's gonna take a lot of time. So yeah, I just totally forget what I just tried to do there. I'll probably just cut that part out. And so we're back, yeah. Sorry, after that whole uh, fail attempt to try to counterattack with Windmill. Basically what you're trying to do is uh, go against a wall or something, and then let your enemy hit you. And as you're sliding back, apparently, or if you're, uh, not that, let him attack me one more time. And if you're going back, you're supposed to press it, but, oh well, forget it. I need to do that so I can try to finish the training on this thing, so I can finally, uh, what's the word, so I can finally um, rank it up. So it can do more damage and just be completely destructive. So we're gonna finish off this final spider. Oh, well, never mind. There's another spider over there. Ooh, HP. And just lightning bolt this guy. And then we yeah. I'm gonna try one more time. One more time. Yeah, it should be one more time. Okay, screw it. Just, just die. <laughs> and here we go, the boss room key. So this obviously, obviously tells you that you're almost done with the dungeon. Just go ahead and just, from the middle of the map, you can just go ahead and just unlock this next door, and next door, and you're done. And here's the boss key. Door. Yeah. Okay, so here we are in the boss, and you see this guy getting beat up by, or this girl? This girl getting beat up by this giant spiderling and we shouldn't have too much of a problem because she actually tries to assist us which is pretty nice but mm, no it gets, it gets kind of annoying when she's trying to mess up your combos and whatever salt slash no too far away too close um, so. scary can't use a salt slash don't fight, don't, please, don't, please. Yes, there we go, and we are done. And, uh, once you finish the dungeon... Sh it's, it's dead. <laughs> okay, so, uh, once you finish with the dungeon, you should just go ahead and just walk over here into this treasure room, that's what I call it, and you will get a treasure chest key once you finish the boss off. And go ahead and just open up a treasure chest and get your rewards, which usually sucks, because you're doing Alby, but whatever. Gold is gold, and we'll take it. Because every gold in this game is very valuable. So after like 30 minutes, we finally uh, complete the training for Windmill. And I didn't do counter, but I did do a, I did attack several enemies at once, so that's how I got it. And boom, there we go, we're finished. And yeah, <laughs> that's it. We got rank F. Yeah, rank F. No, we, no, we don't have rank F. We have rank E.
Well, that, that's weird. It says it's rank F up there. Okay, there we go. It's rank E. So now we are finished with that, and now we will go do... Yeah, let's go do G1. So that's basically this purple thing, and it should say Goddess Tap. So, so what you want to do is now just go up here to CD Sinaicha. The snowy place. You'll see. So just go north of, uh, instead of going, um, go north of Trevor, instead of going towards, uh, Alpi, just keep falling up the road. And here we are, we are at this, look at all that snowman. I don't even know who made that, but whoever did that, very freaking persi persistent. So once you attack this, it will give you earrings. Not just one earring, like, if you hit it more than once, it will give you, like, a bunch of earrings. Like, look at that shit. Whoever's been losing earrings, they got a problem. And as for this eagle I just got, oh yeah, I forgot to um, do this earlier, but uh, I forgot to set it because um, it was, uh, you get it after you finish the quest by, of going to Ira and you come back. So this is the pet eagle you get, and it's really slow, but it gets the job done. <laughs> it looks so funny with its chicken legs. Well, chicken leg legs. So we're just going in here. And, uh, yeah, those are the first two free pets you'll get in this game, and they're free for, like, ever. You do get a, another horse. It's called the Thoroughbred for free, but that one is, uh, well, it's not free. It's only for seven days, so I wouldn't recommend using it. It's really useless. But I would use it just once, so you can get it out of your inventory and get it out of your way for good. Be I mean, not your inventory, but your, uh, character screen, because there's a limit to how many characters you can have, and I think that's 50. And trust me, I'm nearly there to reaching 50. I'm like at 30 something, and oh, it's getting kind of scary because I don't know what's gonna happen when I reach max. So we're just gonna go ahead and go to Duncan right now, and let's we'll go ahead and get off the eagle because I think I'm faster than the eagle, sadly. So that was a whole waste of time. So we'll go talk to Duncan.